Bhagavad Gita, verse 4.25. Karma yogis perfectly worship the demigods in the form of offering ceremonial sacrifices to them, while others, jnana yogis, offer all their activities as oblations through sacrifice into the sacrificial fire of the Absolute Truth. Sar Ardhavarshini Sri Bhagavan is saying, There are various types of yajna according to the various desired goals. Now, hear of them all. Sri Bhagavan speaks eight verses beginning with the present one, Devam Eva, to explain these different types of yajna. Yajna, in which demigods, such as Indra and Varuna, are worshipped, is called Devam. The performers of such Yajna do not consider demigods like Indra and others to be Brahma. This is being explained here. According to the statement, Sasya Deva Tityana, the demigods are the only worshipable deities for those who perform Deva Yajna, sacrifice to the demigods. Brahma is not mentioned here. In this verse, yoginaha means karma yogis, while abhare implies jnana yogis. Brahmakno means that Brahma or Paramatma himself is the sacrificial fire. In that sacrificial fire or the absolute truth, tat padartha, the oblation of the jiva, tvam Padartha is offered by the means, ladle, of chanting the Pranava Mantra, Om. This very Yan Yagya will be glorified later. Here, the word Yagyam and Yagyena have been used for the object offered, such as ghee and the instrument of the offering, the ladle, respectively. In other words, it is understood that the pure jiva and pranava are indicated by a superior understanding of yajna and yajna, respectively. Sar Ardhavarshini Prakashikariti Srila Bhaktinod Thakur expresses Krishna's mood as follows. Those who take the vow to perform yajna are called yogis. There are various types of yajna according to the different aptitudes of the yogis. In fact, there are as many varieties of yajnas as there are types of yogis. Based on scientific understanding, all yajnas can be divided into two general divisions. First, karma yajna, consisting of sacrificial offerings and second, Jnana Yagya, sacrifice in the form of deliberation on the spiritual reality, Chit Tattva. This will be explained further on. Now, please hear as I explain some varieties of Yagyas. The Karma Yogis perform the worship through the worship of my authorized representatives, such as Indra and Varuna, who, by my external potency, are gifted with specific powers. By such worship, these karma yogis gradually come to the stage of selflessly offering the fruit of their endeavors to Bhagavan, Nishkama Karma Yoga. The sacrifice of the yajna yogis consists of offering themselves, Dvam Padartha, as the ghee into the fire of the Absolute, Tat Padartha, by reciting the Pranava Mantra, Om, or having taken shelter of the great axiom, Tat Tvam Asi, you are his servant. The superiority of this sacrifice in the form of deliberation on spiritual reality will be explained later on.